So far this NFL season, fading the most public plays has gone three and one, 75%. I've got three very public plays this week for week three. Also a couple public underdogs. Red flag alert. I'm going to give all those to you free here with analysis and I'll let you know where to fade the public in week three coming up in just a moment. Hi, this is Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, right back here on Wager Talk TV, breaking down your NFL public sides here for week three, September the 22nd. And also Monday night, September the 23rd. Yes, one of these is a Monday night game. First, let's do a quick recap of week two. You know, I read all the comments, I reply back, and I take your suggestions. And I know many of you like a recap to know how the season's going with the public data. Well, last week, one and one, uh, public was on the Chargers Sunday. They smoked the Panthers. And the public was also on the Eagles Monday night. The Falcons beat them outright. So this season, so far, the official public plays fading those have gone three and one, 75%. And uh, three of the four public leans failed last week. So fading the public went three and one of the additional leans. So overall, four and two fading the public last week. Now eight and four this season on all plays and leans, including three and one fading the official public selections each week. I've got three official public plays this week for you. Two on Sunday, one on Monday, and also a couple public dogs, one play and one lean. So really four public plays and also an additional lean for you. are going to get to those in a moment. Let's look at the most public side here for Week 3 NFL. It goes at 1 o'clock Eastern Sunday, and that's the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, minus the 6 to 6.5 against the Denver Broncos. Now, once again, Tampa Bay is off to a perfect 2-0 start, and the public is starting to take notice. That is often how this works. When a team gets off to a strong start, uh, the public usually jumps on board. Uh, beating the Commanders, not my Washington Commanders, nothing special in Week 1, but it was an impressive Outright win as a touchdown underdog at Detroit last week. Bucks still not running the ball, though. Just 112 and just 70 yards last week. But they are taking care of the ball. Just one turnover so far this season, and that's why they're 2-0. Baker Mayfield is throwing the ball fantastic. 146 rating against the Commanders. A 91 QB rating last week against the Lions. And that has not been the case for Bo Nix. The rookie quarterback has been really awful, actually, for Denver. No touchdown passes and four interceptions in his first two games with poor quarterback ratings on top of that 55 and 47 and a half. So not a surprise that the public is fading Denver. You know, we don't just blindly fade the public. We pick our spots, and there are certain subsets and situations that work better than others, one of which is not playing bad offensive teams or struggling quarterbacks. And Denver obviously fits the mold here. I mentioned the only time the public has cashed this year on the most public plays was Carolina, Sandy, uh, L.A. Chargers last week, and I don't blame them. Taking the Panthers is a tough thing with Bryce Young at quarterback. By the way, we're going to talk about the Carolina game this week in just a moment. Uh, but once again, the public is heavy on the Tampa Bay Bucks, the most public play this week. Now, the second most public play, a close second, is fading those Panthers once again with the Las Vegas Raiders. And they're currently minus six in most locations as I check the Wager Talk live odd screen. Of course, last week the public was leaning towards Baltimore. That's one of the games they got wrong. The Raiders won outright. But now the public is coming right back with the Raiders here in uh, a second opportunity, I guess, to cash back what they lost last week. But it's not necessarily a play on the Raiders. It's a play against the Panthers. And this isn't a surprise. Carolina looked terrible again last week, especially offensively. Uh, this is a team that was the worst team in football last year. And the public faded them quite often with success. And the public is fading them again this year. They faded them both against New Orleans and the Chargers. In fact, uh, once again, fading the public has gone 8-4 and four this year. If you take out the two Carolina games, it's 8-2, and two, 80%. And this is what I always say about using filters and subsets. you got to be bad, careful with these really bad offensive teams. However, there is a possible catalyst that could change things for Carolina this week, and that is the quarterback change. Bryce Young is not the starter. Andy Dalton, the veteran, is now the starter. And maybe that could be the spark Carolina needs. Uh, the Raiders have a really good defensive line, though, and if this Carolina offensive line doesn't improve, uh, slow-footed Andy Dalton might not be able to hold up. And by the way, who wears short shorts? Minshew wears short shorts, and the redheaded stepchild Andy Dalton is going to love it from the sidelines. Minshew, the most underrated quarterback in all of football. I keep singing his praises, but seriously, he's not bad. So far this season, a 95 and a 95 QB rating in each game. Despite the fact he's thrown two interceptions, he's thrown for over 530 yards. And the Raiders, once again, were one of the best defensive teams in the second half of the NFL season last year. Now, normally you're not looking to play a, nearly a touchdown favorite after a straight-up touchdown dog win, and that's the situation the Raiders are in. But the question becomes, can Carolina do anything about it? 
Once again, Fading Carolina, the public, is going to be doing that almost each and every week, and they'll probably continue to do it when they have success. The question becomes, will Andy Dalton be a spark this week? Um, Carolina, once again, would be the contrarian call here, but I'd probably prefer to see Andy Dalton spark the team before taking a chance with the team that's been outscored 73-13 to so far this season. Once again, those are your two most public plays on Sunday, the Tampa Bay Bucks and the Las Vegas Raiders. All right, let's look at the Monday night football game for you, and then we'll come back and look at some public dogs as well. Monday night, there's actually two football games Monday night, and the public is leaning towards both favorites, uh, Buffalo and Cincinnati, but one of them is a heavy public selection, and that's the Buffalo Bills minus the five points. I did a standalone video this week for this game, a five to six minute in-depth preview. So if you'd like some full detailed analysis for this Jacksonville Buffalo game, the standalone Monday night, Monday night video is here on Wager Talk TV. Yet another reason to click subscribe when you click subscribe to hit that bell as well for instant alerts. And as I mentioned in the video, Buffalo is looking very public this week. But unlike those two ugly ducklings, Carolina and Denver on Sunday, the Jacksonville Jaguars are actually a decent team. And fading the public, the spots I like best are when we get decent teams. That's why I love to fade public dogs, because when you get a favorite, you're getting a decent team normally. And this is of the three dogs this week that the public are fading. I think Jacksonville is the one that does have some bite. I recommended them in that solo video, and I'm going to give them to you here. This is the one game I think where you can fade the public, and uh, that would be the Jacksonville Jaguars plus five on Monday night. Jacksonville also has a solid rushing game, averaging almost five and a half yards per carry. Buffalo's averaging only four yards per rush attempt. They both played Miami this season, so we do have that common opponent. And on paper, Jags lost by three at Miami, while the Bills won outright by 21. Seems a lot more impressive. But then as you dig deeper, you see that Buffalo last Thursday night was outgained by over 100 total yards. The difference was a 3 nothing turnover edge that the Bills had. Meanwhile, Jacksonville has not forced a turnover yet in either game. That's due to probably correct itself at some point. I think the turnovers could equal out a bit here, and Jacksonville is a live dog on Monday Night Football. So once again, those are your three most official public plays for Sunday and Monday Tampa Bay, Las Vegas Raiders, and the Buffalo Bills. Of those three, the one quality dog where we could fade the public, in my opinion, is Jacksonville on Monday night. All right, we're going to look at two public dogs for you. One official, one lean in just a moment. Red flag alert, some public dogs this week. By the way, we've had one public dog all season in the first two weeks, and that was the L.A. Rams last week at Arizona and boarded the Cardinals smack them by over 30 points. We'll see how the public dogs fare this week. Those are coming up in just a moment. I want to remind you, if you want my official NFL best bets this weekend, college football Saturday, NFL Sunday, Major League Baseball every day, check out my page, Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. I'm number one in Units 1 ATS, college and pro football combined the last two seasons. And let's not sleep on baseball as we head into the weekend on an incredible 30 and 9 Best bet winning run in baseball over the past month. By the way, you can get the rest of the baseball season for just 129 through the World Series. If you're a football client and want to add baseball, use promo code MLB50 for an instant $50 discount. You can also get the rest of the football season, college and pro combined, with an instant $100 discount this weekend with promo code FBALL100. Or if you want to take a serious, consistent daily investment approach, Get the All Sports All Access one year special and save over $800 instantly with promo code SM365. That works out to just over $3 a day, just over a dollar a play for every football, college and pro, baseball, and college and pro basketball best bet as well. Basketball starts in just over a month. I've had several number one rankings in basketball, college number one a couple years ago. NBA ATS Profits all-time leader at wagertalk.com, including number one last season. So not a bad time to get all sports right now, and you can save over $800 instantly with promo code SM365. By the way, if you have a current package and you want to upgrade to a bigger package or add-on, contact customer support. They're the best in the business, and they will give you an instant credit for what you have remaining and also light up, apply those special promo codes. So if you want to upgrade, don't hesitate to contact customer support as well. By the way, you don't have to memorize these promo codes. The special offers this week are on my page right now, along with a daily free play. Check out the bonus free play every day on my page, along with those strong best bets. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. Get there quicker with shortcut wt.buzz slash sm. All right, let's look at the two public dogs this week. One of them is a fit, an official fade the public selection. The other one's an additional lean. I'll get to that in a moment. But the most public dog this week, and I would rank it as an official public play, is the Green Bay Packers, plus the two and a half points at Tennessee. Now, we do have to put a little bit of an asterisk next to this one because Jordan Love is still questionable at quarterback. In fact, a lot of spots 
or listing Malik Willis as the starter. But Jordan Love has practiced the last few days heading into the weekend. I do expect him to give it a go. A lot of question marks, though, how healthy he is in this game, and just too much uncertainty for me. You know, once again, I said we always use the public information as a filter, and we pick our spots. We're careful not to fade automatically teams like Carolina, the really bad teams. And also these injury games, I always kind of put an asterisk next to as well. But the consensus data is what it is, and I want to give it to you on this video every week. Green Bay is a very public dog this week in the NFL, plus the two and a half. And by the way, there are some threes out there. So here's another example of why fading the public works long term, because you do lose line value. This line is three in a couple of spots, but mostly two and a halves. Probably would be three or higher. But once again, we got to get that quarterback information known. I would expect this line to drop even more uh, on Sunday if it's announced Jordan Love is the official starter. Uh, Malik Willis played well last week against the Colts, surprisingly because he was really bad two years ago in his rookie season, and now he's returning to Tennessee where he played that rookie season. Uh, so it's a definitely an interesting, interesting matchup. But the public, the most public dog I've seen so far this season is the Green Bay Packers this week on Sunday, plus the two and a half. Now there's one other public dog as well. I'll give it to you as an additional lean. It's not quite as public as Green Bay, uh, but the public is also leaning towards the L.A. Chargers, plus two and a half at Pittsburgh. Similar situation here, another kind of asterisk next to it because uh, Justin Herbert is listed as questionable. He is expected to give it a go at quarterback. He has a high ankle sprain from last week's game. And, of course, Harbaugh and company off to the 2-0 start. They're going to probably be a pretty public team here in the near future. And, meanwhile, Justin Fields for the Steelers uh, not going to spark a lot of interest from the average public better. Uh, so, once again, the Chargers also an additional public lean. But we got some uncertainty with quarterback situation there uh, with Herbert. Uh, also, that very impressive win against the Panthers, 26-3. to 22-10 win against the Raiders. And they did run the ball really well in both games. In fact, uh, they've had almost 400 yards rushing uh, 395 to be exact in the first two games. Uh, so even if Herbert is list, it, uh, is um, hobbled as it appears he is, they do have a nice little rushing edge in this game um, against a Pittsburgh team that's been very strong against the run, though, giving up only 89 and 64 yards. So it's kind of a strength versus strength matchup. we got to keep an eye on Herbert's situation and health. Once again, the Chargers, an additional public lean this week, and that's a public dog as well. Similar situation, by the way, plus two and a half, couple threes out there, but mostly two and a half. Once again, losing a little bit of line value because the Chargers look public. Really no other public leans this week. Uh, one other game that came close was the Cleveland Browns minus six and a half. I actually did a full five-minute standalone video on that game as well, Giants-Browns. I do lean Giants in that one, especially if you can get plus seven or more. Currently, uh, it's Cleveland six and a half across the board. Ugly game. Should be a low-scoring game. Two really bad offensive teams. Um, so if the public does push that a little higher, which they might by kickoff on Sunday, at seven or more, maybe you start looking at the Giants. So that's another one um, I would fade the public, but we're not going to put that on the video as an official lean. Um, the consensus data was not strong enough. But once again, if you're looking for some other info, Cleveland was a game that almost made the video here, minus the six and a half. All right, that's your public information here for week three. Uh, not as many leans as I had the last couple of weeks, but we do have three strong public sides, actually four when you count the Packers. Once again, Tampa Bay, Raiders, Buffalo, and Green Bay are your official public plays this week. Uh, let me know in the comments below where you're fading them and where you're not fading them, and also that additional public dog lean on the LA Chargers as well. Once again, I do read all the comments. I reply back. I love the support here on Wager Talk TV. Let's learn and earn and win together here in week three. Thumbs up the video. Like the video if you're finding it useful, and I'll keep them coming. And don't forget, when you subscribe, click that bell as well for instant alerts. So you know when these Fade the Public videos go up every weekend for the NFL, my college football top 25 video goes up every Thursday night, and also the daily free play baseball videos throughout the week and college and pro football free play videos for this weekend. Click that bell for an instant alert, and you never miss out here on Wager Talk TV. And once again, if you want my red-hot best bets, by the way, last weekend, college and pro football sides went 5-1. I'm number one all-time the last two years combined in, in, in ATS profit in college and pro football, so it shouldn't be a surprise. Also, MLB, number one all baseball this season, units one on a current 30-9 and nine baseball best bet run entering this weekend, and that's over the past month, and there's still plenty more to come. Over a month and a half of baseball remains into the World Series. Save $50 instantly with MLB 50 as your code. Get $100 off the rest of the football season, college and pro combined, F ball 100, or once again, the big boy package, the serious investment approach, Every sport, every play, every day for the next 365 days and nights, and you get over an $800 discount instantly with promo code SM365. 
works out to just over $3 a day, just over a dollar a play. That's how you take a serious and consistent investment approach. By the way, if you ever want to upgrade, like I said, and we get a bigger package, just contact customer support. They'll be glad to help you out. And you don't have to memorize those promo codes. I've got them all listed on my homepage right now. The weekend special offers, my strong best bets, and that daily free play. Get that bonus free play right now. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. Get there quicker with shortcut wt.buzz slash sm. You can follow me on X and Instagram at Steve Merrill. You know the deal. Two R's, one L at Steve Merrill on X and Instagram. And stay tuned here to Wager Talk TV for some more great free sports betting content coming up next.